Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to run multiple Wi-Fi hotspots from a single router. So we're going to head over to wireless and I'm going to create two virtual um, wireless access points. So the first one that I'm going to create is one for say accounts and I'm going to call the SS give it the SSID of accounts okay I'm going to create another one I'm going to call this one this one would be for IT say for instance you have an IT department and you want to create one for IT separately I'm going to call this IT click apply okay Alright, now we're going to add these these two interfaces to a bridge. Go over to the bridge and we're going to create a new bridge for we're going to create a bridge for each interface. So we we'll call this bridge IT. Okay. I'm going to call this one bridge accounts. Okay. And then we're going to add the ports to the bridge. So I'm going to add the port for for IT to the IT bridge. Apply. Okay. And I'm going to add the accounts access points access point to the account bridge. I can close this and we're going to go over to the hotspot. Alright, and we're going to create the hotspot using the setup wizard. So click on hotspot setup. And the first hotspot that we're going to create is for IT. And we're going to the interface that we're going to use is bridge and not not the the access point itself but the bridge next i'm i'm going to change this ip address i'm going to call it 192.168.200.1/24 that's the network that we're going to use and i'm going to leave this pool as is next next and for DNS, I'm going to use Google DNS, so 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. I'm going to add the next one, 8.8.4.4. .4. Next. And DNS name, I'm going to leave that blank. Next. And it's going to ask you to um, create a local um, user, admin user. I'm going to just give this my password. okay so we have created the first hotspot and what i'm going to do is to rename this hotspot to hotspot it and i'm going to change the addresses per mac address to one that means only one one connection will be allowed per mac address click apply okay and i'm going to set up the other access point that are um, hotspot for accounts. Select the accounts bridge next, and I'm going to give this range uh, say 50. Next, I'm going to leave the DHCP range as is. Next, and ensure that select certificate is no, is none. Next, and we're going to use those DNS servers next finish so we have just created two hotspots i'm going to change the name of this one okay all right next thing that we're going to do is we're going to head over to users and i'm and this is where you would go about um, adding new users 
So I'm going to add a user, call this user test. I'm going to give it a password. And you can set other options on, on, on that user account. Like um, you can limit the, the duration and also the speed and, and so forth. But I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. Okay, okay. So we have two accounts, one for admin and one for test and two hotspots so i'm now going to do a test and see if i'm able to connect to or even see those hotspots so i have a, a vm that is running windows 10 all right let me go okay so now we are seeing the hotspots so we have one for accounts and we are seeing the next one for it so I'm going to connect to accounts. Okay, and it asks for a password. So why it's asking for a password? Let us go back to our configuration. If we go back to wireless and just open one of one of the virtual access point, we'll see that the security profile um, that it is using is the default profile. So what we what we need to do in order to correct this is to we're going to create a next profile and we're going to say dynamic key to none. I'm going to call this um, hotspot hotspot profile. Call this hotspot profile. And then we're going to change each one of these to use the profile. So add spot profile and change them to use that profile. All right, let us head over to the virtual machine. Let's close this. Click on account. Click connect. connecting all right okay all right so we have been redirected to the hotspot page so I'm going to log in as um, admin I'm going to type the password click OK And now I'm able to browse. Alright, I'm going to close this. I'm going to try the other hotspot. Um, it's saying no internet, but that will change soon because you know Windows take a little while to to change the the status of the connection and you see in where it is saying no connected so the connection is okay now I'm going to disconnect from the accounts connection I'm going to test IT now so I'm going to connect to the IT hotspot alright so we got the login page as the same and I'm going to log in as admin so these accounts that were created. Uh, let, let me just put in a password. My password. Okay. All right. So I'm able to browse. So just to clarify a few things. Uh, for the users, these user accounts are applied to all the servers by default. But if you want to assign the user account to a particular server I could say for the admin account I want the admin account to be able to log into IT only I could do something like this and I could also change the test account and say I want to 
test account to be able to access the account hotspot only so you could configure it like this or you could just leave it to the default where these account can be used to connect to all the hotspot server so it's really up to your preference so that is how you go about um, configuring or running multiple hotspots on a single router so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to, remember to do so and also share my videos and that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching